Good morning guys, Steve here at Prairie Aquaponics and I uh, just thought I'd do my update here today. Now I was asking that question about the fruit, if it needs a female flower and it would assume that it does, as you can see there's one there with that little zucchini on the bottom, so I'm going to get at least one. I see a couple other ones over here that have uh, zucchinis at the bottom, so hopefully I get a couple out of this at least, but I... Uh, rearrange things here in the greenhouse because it was getting to be quite a mess as these zucchini are getting huge so there's my bigger of the two this one has more flower setting on it here's my random pepper that I have no idea as you can tell I caged it I put stakes on around everything in here uh, my asparagus that I still haven't gotten in the ground and then my voodoo tomatoes I'm trying here there's this guy, it's pretty big, and it's, these little guys here were just extra sprouts that were in the cups, so I thought I just might as well plant them. Here's another nice sized tomato, and uh, I really can't see because of the glare, but uh, it's flowering there. This guy too, he's got some flowers on it. And here's two more tomatoes. Alright guys, I'll rip over the garden and uh, I'll see you there. Hey guys, Steve here again. Told you I'd give you an update of the garden. Um, I got some more tomatoes. The nice old lady I used to live next door to had some extras. So I was talking to her when I was visiting the mother-in-law and put them in. I got a few broccoli here. Like I said, some new tomatoes. I got some bamboo steaks in there. Cabbage. Tomatoes. And then there's kale plants in there. More tomatoes. I just transplanted them a couple days ago. They seem to be a little bit of shock. There's one that made it through the frost actually. And then here's a pepper that made it through the frost. I thought I lost them all, but I uh, guess I didn't. We'll go over here. And I got some kale coming up over here. Another pepper, lettuce, pepper, lettuce, 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 all the way up. And I thought none of my eggplants were gonna come up, but then boom, I ended up getting a crap ton of them, so. That's cool, I'll put that fencing up here in the next couple days. Here's some uh, more kale. Sorry if the video is real bad, I can't even see the screen, it's so bright out today. Here's some more kale. More eggplant, more eggplant. A mud spot where my sprinkler oversprays. A bunch more eggplant. We'll go to the other side here. Two more rows to look at. This is my row of corn, and every so often I do have one or two corn coming up, mostly grass, crabgrass though, and then my peas, and there's some beets right there. There's a whole row of beets I planted in there, but they don't all seem to be coming up. More peas, here's the fencing I put up. I have another piece that I'll put... Uh, I'll leave about a maybe a half a foot, six inch gap, maybe a little better. And I'll put the next piece at the top. See, there's the one low pole. I'll put it at whatever the height of that is. A couple more corn. Some more peas. Some more beets. There's a nice row of beets right here. Coming up. Some more corn. Uh, next year, I'm definitely going to plant my corn thicker. I even overplanted it compared to what the packet said, and well, you know, not every seed comes up, so what's the use of having patchy rows of corn? And then here's a bunch of peas that came up beautifully, so I don't know what's the deal with that, but and there's probably some corn in this mess of grass. I got some major weeding to do. And then here's where a bunch of pea seeds wash down to the end. So, 
Yeah, I'll take it from there. All right, guys, that's the garden update for this week. I'll be back again next week with another one. And uh, as always, keep growing. Steve here from Prairie Occupy.